Hey everybody, we've got a quick video on the velocity of money, okay? The velocity of money is a very important concept for students to understand so that they can understand the spending multiplier, which is going to be the next video that we shoot. Okay, the velocity of money, very important for understanding the spending multiplier. Well, what is the velocity of money? Let's just put that out there right from the beginning. It is the number of times the average dollar gets spent in a year. It's the number of times the average dollar gets spent in a year. To kind of teach you the velocity of money and why it's so, impor so, impor so important, I've put a circular flow up here on the board, okay? Now, in different textbooks, circular flows look differently, but they all have these same basic parts. Households, government, businesses, resource markets or factor markets, product markets. I've got a financial market, okay, a place where borrowers and lenders go. Sometimes you'll see even a currency market, maybe even the rest of the world show up. It's not that those aren't important, I just want to keep it pretty simple right now. So I've just got a pretty basic circular flow on the board. Now why is it called a circular flow? Because money tends to flow in a circle. Now certainly there are leakages and injections to this circle, but the main circle, the main way money flows is households spend money in the product market. This green arrow is a money flow, spend money in a product market. That money flows to businesses as revenue. Businesses use that revenue to pay for their resources, and that money then flows into households as income. So once again, spending flows into revenue, flows into income, flows back into spending. And there are leakages and injections, but that's the main way that money flows. Now, let's just say that I could stand here right outside the product market and count every single dollar that comes out of the product market over the course of a year. What would I know? What would that amount total to? Now, I'm actually not asking for the quantitative amount, okay, I don't want you to give me a dollar amount right now, but it's almost like what is the economic measurement that I would know if I stood here and counted every single dollar that came out over the course of the year? And the answer is GDP. And even more specifically, it would be nominal GDP. Nominal meaning the dollar amount of GDP is what I would know. Now let's assume that I did that. I stood right here, I counted every single dollar that came out over the course of a year, and let's say that nominal GDP totaled to $20 trillion. Next, let's assume I had the power to kind of snap my fingers and freeze every single dollar in the circular flow. Now every single dollar is going to freeze, it's not going to flow anymore because I snapped my fingers, every dollar freezes, and then I'm going to go count every single dollar, wherever it's at, okay? I'm just going to count up every single dollar that's in our economy. So I count them all up. Certain, you know, once again, there are other flows. I like to think of indirect business taxes and subsidies and corporate profit taxes and payroll taxes and transfer payments. Let's assume all those flows are up here on my board, okay? We just can't see them because we're just looking at such a big picture view of it. But I can still count all the dollars in all of those flows. These flows dollars that are sitting in our wallets, whatever. I could count every dollar. And then what I like to ask students is, what would be a number that would make sense given our nominal GDP is $20 trillion? And the answer is some number less than $20 trillion. Not more than $20 tr trillion, some dollar less than $20 trillion. Why is that? Well, because dollars, the same dollar, gets spent multiple times in a year. Which brings us back to that concept, the velocity of money. What is that definition again? The number of times the average dollar gets spent in a year. And let's just, for the sake of argument, say that that number is five, okay? Sometimes we, we, we've seen estimates out there, four, five, six, seven. Let's just say it's five right now. Well, if the velocity of money was five, that means the average dollar gets spent five times in a year, what would that mean for our money stock? Well. Nominal GDP is 20 trillion, the velocity of money is 5, our money stock would be 4 trillion dollars. 4 trillion dollars. Once again, average dollar gets spent 5 times in a year, so 5 times at 4 trillion, that would give us our nominal GDP, which is 20 trillion. Why is this so important again? Because it's important to understand the spending multiplier. Because the spending multiplier is all about when we get initial changes in spending, that that gets multiplied, that spending gets multiplied by going around our circular flow again and again 
And again, okay, to understand the spending multiplier, if the government increases their spending by some amount, we're going to get an impact on nominal GDP that is bigger than the amount the government initially spent. Anyhow, I hope that helped you. We'll see you in the next video.